Hello, welcome, and thank you for joining us for the Win Awards 2020 Digital Ceremony. Here's Alison Carter. I'd like to wish you a very warm welcome to this year's Win Awards Ceremony. Today, we will see some outstanding achievements and rightful winners as this virtual ceremony showcases the imaginative and innovative work of interior designers throughout the world. The collection of shortlisted entries proves there is room for inspired creativity in many surroundings. And in a year when many of us have been inside more than we expected to be, it's wonderful to see these extraordinary, uplifting and vivid interiors. Judging was completed by an extensive panel of top international experts who put entries through a rigorous and trusted process to reinforce these awards' truly global outlook. Despite coronavirus, meaning this has to be a virtual awards, we are really pleased to amplify and celebrate the hard work of all the final finalists to our global audience. Thank you to all those who took the time to enter earlier this year and many congratulations to all the winners. So let's celebrate the best in worldwide interior design. Let's find out why these winners won and enjoy this spectacle of sumptuous, practical and enticing designs. Thank you. Thanks, Alison. We're just moments away from rewarding this year's winners and with a huge number of amazing entries, choosing the very best of them was a tough job for an impressive judging panel of industry experts. So before we reveal those winners, Here's some of this year's judges. It was really fantastic to see a broad palette of interesting winter entries from different parts of the world. I'd like to congratulate all amazing designers who participated in this amazing event. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure to act as a jury member for the 2020 World Interior News Awards. This year, we reviewed an exceptionally high standard of entries and those that really stood out had a clear vision and seamlessly integrated the interior design with all other design disciplines. Congratulations to all of the finalists and best of luck. I really enjoyed judging the World Interior News Awards this year. It gives me a global perspective on the direction of travel for design. I'd just like to say thank you for inviting me to be a judge on the Win Awards 2020. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we had amazing entries this year. So congratulations to everybody that did enter and good luck for the final. Cheers. We've had great entries this year. Wishing you all the best of luck. We were impressed with the high standard of entries this year, making it challenging for us, the judges. It's important that studios and practices submit entries next year to showcase their talent and gain wider visibility and recognition. Congratulations to the finalists and good luck. Right, it's time to reveal the winners in all 22 hotly contested categories in this year's Win Awards. Don't forget to tell the world all about today's proceedings using the hashtag WinAwards20. Or you can tag us at WInteriorsNews. And so to today's first award for corporate offices of less than 10,000 square metres. And to tell you more about today's first shortlist of finalists, here's Judge Tara Riley. I was so impressed with the entries to the corporate offices less than 10,000 square meter category. The entries were all fresh, original, and beautiful. And most important, the entries accomplished all of that while fulfilling the challenging and diverse client briefs. Congratulations to the finalists and good luck. From those, there's a bronze award for Magu Design. The judges awarded silver to Montalva Architects. And their gold winner is Cheng Chung Design Hong Kong. The judges agreed their gold winner was a beautifully executed project that celebrates materiality throughout, with a true sense of variety highlighted by the inventive use of materials, textures and artificial light. 
Congratulations to the gold winner for corporate offices less than 10,000 square meters. Cheng Chong Design, Hong Kong. Next, it's the award for corporate offices with more than 10,000 square meters. Here's Judge Carmen Lee. The quality and diversity of the entries to the corporate section of the WINS 2020 awards this year has been very impressive. Not only are the designs reflective of the ever-evolving workplace, but the designs also reflect the client briefs, the designs are functional, and also they are at a very high aesthetic quality. It's been a very tough year for judges to agree and come up with one final winner. Thanks, Carmen. Here are the corporate offices in contention. And from those, there is a bronze award for Cheng Chung Design Hong Kong. Taking the silver, Woods Baggett. And the gold winner here is Elkus Manfredi Architects for Aetna. The judges called their winner a muted, non-intrusive and functional design, meeting the client's brief with a sense of assuredness, calm, unpretentious, clean and sophisticated interiors, skillfully blending hospitality with corporate. Corporate office with more than 10,000 square meters, gold winner, Elkus Manfredi Architects for Aetna. Next, we put studios, co-working spaces and home offices under the judge's scrutiny. And this time, two contenders go head to head. And from those, the judges awarded a silver and a gold. So we'll reveal that gold winner first. And that goes to Fogarty Finger Architecture. The judges called this gold winner a well-executed scheme with a clear design intent, with its neatly executed interiors creating a very plush and executive feel and a perfect working environment. Thank you to the jury and everybody at Wynn for selecting our project. We are very excited. This would have not been possible without the incredible team at Fogarty Finger and the great collaboration with the contractor, the client, the various artists and furniture makers who makes, made this a special, special project. Thank you again and hopefully see you next year. Studios, co-working spaces and home offices gold winner, Fogarty Finger Architecture. And of course, congratulations on their silver award there to Nature Time Architects. Next, it's the award for one-off homes, large and small. And here's Judge Coldo Gill. I was really impressed by the high standards of this year's entries. It was such a joy to judge this category with such a varied and inspiring range of projects. A clear trend for me was how luxury is being redefined by the quality of the design rather than just the high-end materials used. I would like to wish all the finalists best of luck. And here come the one-off homes, large and small, contenders. From those, there's a bronze award for W Design for the One. There's a silver for Inspiration Group. But our gold winner is W Design for Lakeville Lux. This thoughtful and bold design was described by the judges as beautiful, elegant luxury at its best, 
with a muted colour palette and a rich selection of fabrics and finishes, creating genuine character and personality. I'm honoured to receive this award as well as the recognition for my work. Thank you, committee, for all the efforts you guys put in to make this happen. I would like to thank my team here at uh, WDesign for helping me reach a stage where I stay today. At last, I wish to see more Chinese designers stepping on a big stage and uh, inspire the world. Thanks again. The gold-winning one-off homes, large and small. W Design for Lakeville Lux. It's residential developments in the spotlight next with four contenders for the trophy. And this time, there's a silver award for W Design. But taking the gold award, it's MDO. Here, the judges agreed that a wonderful palette of materials had created a serene and elegant design with some bold statements and use of materials, beautifully detailed with cultural reminiscences. We're really, really excited and honored to have won um, this year's uh, win award and um, I'd like to thank our team for their remarkably hard work and our clients um, for the trust and belief and also the judges for selecting the project. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Residential Development's Gold Winner, MDO. Next, it's the award for Independent Shops or Small Chains. And from those, there's bronze for Nasso. And with both a silver and a gold to come, we'll reveal the gold winner first. And taking gold, it's AIM Architecture. This strong entry impressed the judges as a bold concept, well executed with a refreshing contrast between the industrial ground floor and rooms on the upper level with their opulence and character. Independent Shops or Small Chains Gold Winner, AIM Architecture. And of course, congratulations to the silver winner, VIA Architecture. Next in the spotlight, sports stadiums and sports centres, where two go head to head for the judges' approval. And from those, there's a gold win for Atelier Alter Architects. Impressing the judges here, this winner's focus on its ceiling plane, interesting volumes, minimalist materials, all cleverly altering in design from area to area with some delicately crafted spaces, creating lightness, fun and flow. Thank you, WIN, for your recognition. We believe the civic value of the award broken alliance with our philosophy in architecture. We are humble and grateful to receive this award. Special thanks to our client for your unconditional trust and patience. Special thanks to our team for your tremendous support over the years. And special thanks to the jury for your promotion of excellence. And special thanks to all the winners, finalists and participants for your inspirations. Sports Stadiums and Sports Centre's Gold Winner, Atelier Alter Architects. We come now to the award for Visual Merchandising, Concessions and Pop-Ups. Here's the shortlist. And from those, the bronze goes to 
DAS Design and Changshui Jialanguan Sales Center. Silver goes to Atelier Alta Architects. And claiming the Gold Award, it's DAS Design and Zoina Auspicious Omen Sales Center. Here, the judges called their gold winner a beautiful, serene space with materials that convey a sense of warmth and hospitality, with impressive art and objects neatly and beautifully displayed. Hello, everyone. It's my great honor to get the UK Win Award on behalf of DS Design. First of all, I would like to express my special thanks to Zhongnan Land Group for its recognition and support of our design. The Ziyunji project is presented perfectly because we made a fall together. So I want to thank you again sincerely on behalf of DAS Design. Visual merchandising, concessions and pop-ups, gold winner. DAS Design and Zoina Auspicious Omen Sales Center. Our next award recognizes fine work in retail chain stores, department stores and supermarkets. Here's Judge Aslan Nazam. I'm honored to be part of the judging team for this year's award. My colleagues and I have been impressed by the scale variety of projects in this category. Uh, we think the entries have displayed very varied and very diverse approaches and applications, despite all being spaces uh, of retail and commerce. I'd like to wish all the finalists uh, all the very best and, and congrats again for getting it this far. And here come the contenders. From those taking bronze, it's AD Architecture. Then there's silver for MDO. And taking gold here, it's Conran and Partners. Here, the judges were impressed by the refurbishment of an existing building, creating an extremely effective and confident retail interior, transforming an existing space with a low ceiling into a design that is bright, light and expansive. Hello. On behalf of Conran and Partners, a big thank you to the Win Award judges for this recognition. We really appreciate it. This was one of those blood, sweat and tears projects. Uh, fast pace, high stakes and ambitious brief. The projects delivered an outcome that we're super proud of. It's a very, very satisfying um, outcome on this project and a good journey along the way. Gold winner for retail chain stores, department stores and supermarkets, Conran and Partners. We come now to the award for spas, health clubs and gyms. And this time, there's an outright gold winner. And that gold winner is Pone Architecture for Fusion Fitness Qplex Premium Club. The judges commended the futuristic and well-executed environment, as well as the design considered for each space. This winning project included insights into the intrinsic motivation of fitness enthusiasts, bringing about an avant-garde movement, inspiration, concept and development. Spas, health clubs and gyms winner, Pone Architecture. Next, the win award for experiential design. And these are the four finalists. From those, it's bronze for W Design and Times Garden. There's a silver for Studio Illumin and Light IQ. But winning gold, it's Crocs. The judges praise this scheme, saying it is beautiful from the inside out. It takes its cues from the surrounding landscape and cultural context, and the designers have been poetic with their application of materials and lighting throughout. 2020 is a turbulent year in the time for us to think about our life. We really appreciate all in news to 
to give us this opportunity to share the world with our experiential design, Yunshan Art Museum. We believe design and the humanism should be a big talk in our future. Thanks to our client and the team support, and thank you, Win Award. Experiential Design Gold Winner, Crocs. Our next win trophy goes to the best lighting project, and these are the finalists. This time there's bronze for Licht Associates. Taking silver, Beijing Pro Lighting Design. And winning gold, it's also Beijing Pro Lighting Design. Impressing the judges here, an engaging play on light and shadow, elegantly resolved to create depth from concealed light sources, creating a consistent, coherent and sophisticated scheme. I'm happy that our projects can be the winner of this year. Here, I would like to thank everyone for help. This is the result of joining the efforts. Thank you for my colleague. Thank you very much. Lighting Project Gold Winner, Beijing Pro Lighting Design. Our next award is for learning. There's a bronze for Stantec Architecture. Taking silver, the Rorig Group and Tom Mark Henry. But our gold winner is Wrapped Studio. The judges agreed the success of this winning project lies in its flexible and adaptable classroom spaces. Beautifully executed with simple but inviting finishes and textures and innovative, movable elements. Hi. I'm David Galulo with Rap Studio. I'd like to thank the Win Awards for this honor. Google, our client, for challenging us to reimagine learning and to rethink every aspect of the user experience. And to my incredible team, a collective of designers, strategists, and mad scientists who worked with the client to design a space that's dynamic, interactive, and compelling. Thank you. Learning Gold Winner, Rap Studio. Next, it's the award for hotels, bed and breakfast facilities and other overnight accommodation. Let's hear more from Judge Maria Warner Wong. This year's competition featured a few projects that were genuinely sustainable. Poetic projects that were rooted in culture, memory and place. This is a developing trend which we hope to see more of in future entries. Projects that are very aware of their surroundings, sensitive to the environment, and serve the people and communities in which they're built. Here come the contenders. And from those finalists, it's bronze for horizontal design. It's silver to Foster and Partners. And claiming the gold win trophy for their capsule hostel and bookstore, it's Atelier Teo Plus C. Here, the judges called their gold winner an exquisite combination of human scale with intimate spaces contrasting with large architectural gestures and a beautiful limited material palette that complements the original building. Hello, I'm CC from Atelier Tao Plus C. We are a small team based in Shanghai. 
Um, this is amazing. A big thank you to Win Awards for recognizing our work. Thank you. Winning gold for hotels, bed and breakfast facilities, and other overnight accommodation. Atelier Teo Plus C. And don't forget to watch the content session with Maria Warner Wong and Justin Lau talking about the future of hotel design. Just click on the link at the end of this presentation. We come now to the award for hospitals and clinics and a short list of three finalists. And this time it's bronze for Marek Wojciechowski Architects. And with a silver and a gold to come, we'll announce the gold winner first. So, the hospitals and clinics gold goes to Bates Smart. Clinching the gold award here, what the judges called an inspiring integration of design, narrative and resolution, with distinctive ideas and elegant solutions that set a new benchmark for the industry. It gives me such great pleasure to accept this award on behalf of all of those who worked on this groundbreaking project. Hi, I'm Mark Healy, Studio Director from Bates Smart Architects in Melbourne, Australia. The Gandalf Wing demonstrates that true innovation really does require a collective approach. Everyone from the client, Cabrini Health, who created this patient-centric vision, to the relentless effort made by all the design teams, Bates Smart, Design Inc, Acom, and Oracle Structures. And of course, the contractor, Kane Construction, who realized this new benchmark in patient environments. This is a true team effort. Thanks again to the World Ontario News team and the esteemed judging panel for giving us this award. Winning gold for hospitals and clinics, Bates Smart. And of course, not forgetting our silver winner there, IF, Integrated Field, well done. Next in the award spotlight, it's restaurants and cafes. So let's hear more from judge Alex Mock. It was a pleasure to judge this year's Win Awards restaurant and cafe category. Congratulations to all the finalists and best of luck. And there are six restaurants and cafe contenders. From those, it's bronze for Preen and Yappa. And it's silver for Haybird Specialty Coffee Space. But taking the restaurants and cafes gold, it's Preen and the Heroic. The judges called their gold winner an exemplary project that exceeds expectations for the genre. A well-conceived and executed project with a minimal approach that's truly welcoming. I'm Alexis Redinger from Preen. We're thrilled to be acknowledged for our work on Heroic. Thank you, Wynn. Restaurants and Cafe's gold winner, Preen and the Heroic. It's the Win Award for bars and clubs now, and there are four strong finalists. And here, it's silver for Hu Yi Ming Cheng. But winning gold, it's various associates for Morph. A unanimous winner here, the judges admired the carefully considered use of materials, color and lighting, resulting in what they called an intriguing and compelling interior with interesting and special qualities. We are very happy you know, our project Morph wins the award in this year. I would like to thank Win Awards for providing such a great platform for designers. This award is a great encouragement to us. Thanks again to the Win Awards. Bars and Clubs Gold Winner, Various Associates for Morph. 
It's the award for cinemas, theatres and music venues now, and there's an outright winner. So, it's a gold award for Lead 8 and Mix C IMAX Shenzhen Bay for China Resources Land. The judges agreed this winner challenges and exceeds the expectations of visiting to a multiplex cinema with a luxurious, brilliantly executed design that speaks of a new premium cinema experience. Very proud to be recognized as a leading design practice within this highly competitive platform. We received this award with great responsibility and to continue working to enhance the built environment to contribute to our societies. We'd also like to express our gratitude to CR Land for trusting us to design this high-end flagship project, which is located in their Shenzhen headquarters. Winning gold for cinemas, theatres and music venues, Lead 8. Next, it's the award for cultural venues. So here are the finalists. And from those, it's bronze to Atelier Bruckner for the Macallan Visitor Experience. Then it's silver for Atelier Alter Architects. But winning gold, it's Rootopia Lab. This project delivered an extraordinary and imaginative outcome, a fantastic spatial narrative with many surprising and illusionary experiences within a simple confined floor plate. Hello, everyone. I'm Yu Ting, the chief architect of Utopia Lab, our base in Shanghai. We are honored that the WAN chose our project, Model C Model. It's the future. Win gold for cultural venues to Utopia Lab. And so to our final three winners of these prestigious awards. First, it's Outstanding Project of the Year, where all of this year's gold winners were considered for this top accolade. So I can now reveal that the Outstanding Project of the Year goes to Atelier Teo Plus C's Capsule Hostel and Bookstore. Incredibly imaginative, the concept of hostel and celebration of books and reading is wonderfully executed. Peaceful and sanctuary-like, perfect to immerse yourself in books. A must-visit project when travel permits. A very worthy winner. Congratulations to 2020 Outstanding Project of the Year winner, Atelier Teo Plus C. Our penultimate award is for Emerging Interiors Practice of the Year. And there are three contenders for the title. L&M Design Lab, Studio Doho, and W Design. From those, I can now reveal that WINS 2020 Emerging Interiors Practice of the Year is L&M Design Lab. Their kindergarten project is an impressive work for a young practice. Light-filled, focused and with a mature approach to meeting the brief for a children's nursery. Abandoning the traditional response to a building type, this young practice demonstrates an approach that intelligently interrogates the brief and challenges of an existing structure to deliver elegant, carefully detailed solutions that reinterpret expectations of type. One to watch in the future. Thank you for selecting Limu for this award. We feel truly honored and thrilled. I would also like to thank our entire team for all the hard works and our client for always understand us. Thank you. 2020 Emerging Interiors Practice of the Year, L&M Design Lab. And so to our final award, to this year's Interiors Practice of the Year, with three strong contenders for the trophy and the title. Atelier Alter Architects, Fogarty Finger Architecture, and Preen. So from those, the winner, taking the title, 
2020 Win Awards Interiors Practice of the Year. It's Preen. Energetic and uplifting work with personality, each as the psychotropic bar, conveying something about the particular client and creating spaces we all appreciate. Reinterpretation of the lunchtime sandwich bar through considered use and juxtapositioning of materials within the budget also refreshes the senses. I'm Alexis Redinger and this is the Preen Team. We're deeply honored to be WIN's Interior Designer Practice of the Year. Thanks, Thanks WIN! Win. Congratulations to Preen, Win Awards Interiors Practice of the Year. Well, that's it for today and for the Win Awards 2020. Huge congratulations to all the finalists, our bronze and silver winners, and of course, this year's deserving gold winners. You can discover more about all this year's winners on the website and look out for the Win Awards annual review. And there's more. The World Architectural News Awards will be showcasing winning work from around the globe tomorrow. Just head to worldarchitecturenews.com at 2 p.m. GMT. Finally, to watch key industry speakers such as Justin Lau and Maria Warner Wong talk about the future of hotel design, or Duncan Baker Brown talk about the impact of COVID-19 on sustainable design, just click on the relevant link coming up in just a moment. Thank you for joining us.